Learning Blender is a long and hard process, but there are some mistakes that beginners make that make that process 10 times longer and 10 times harder. So let me show you what they are and how to fix them. Let's go. Mistake number one, not learning how to light your scenes properly. As a beginner, I relied way too much on HDRIs. Every project was just chucking in a HDRI and hoping it looked good. When you really do need to learn how to use a spotlight, an area light, a point light, and just watching a bunch of lighting tutorials, there's so many good ones out there now. Using your own lighting is really important. Having that control and making your scene look the best with your lighting. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, and I fell prey to this one a lot. It is trying to specialize in Blender too early. I spent too much time figuring out if sculpting was the thing for me, hard surface modeling, texture painting, when in reality, you just need to learn a general knowledge of Blender and then make some decent projects that you're happy with. And then once you've done that, try and figure out if sculpting is the thing for you or hard surface modeling. But try and learn a general knowledge of Blender first. And then once you've done that, then you can specialize. But don't try and specialize too early. Hey guys, just remember to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Anyway, back to the video. Tip number three, not understanding how camera settings work. So for example, using the wrong depth of field. This is something I see a lot of beginner renders do. Shallow depth of field is where one little thing is in focus and everything else is out of focus. For example, one of my old renders I created was this car in a city, but my depth of field was way too shallow, and so it ends up just looking like a miniature or a little kid's toy. When you're rendering a big city or a big environment, you want to use a high depth of field, so lots of things are in focus because then it will look big, but when you're photographing something small, like a little toy or like an insect, you want to use a shallow depth of field so it mimics how people use cameras in real life also when you use a high millimeter for your lens for example a hundred mil it looks like you're someone far away taking a photo that's super far zoomed in because the subject is really far away and it's like you're detached out of the photo but if you use a more wide angle lens like 24 35 it's closer to the human eye it creates a wider perspective so it puts your viewer into the scene and lets them see this environment as if they were in it so number four is starting a project without a clear goal in mind so I did this way too much. There are so many Blender files of mine of just projects I started going, oh, I'll just make something cool. And then I never finished anything because I didn't have a clear goal in mind. When you start a project, you want to have a goal in mind. You want to have something that you're aiming for. Otherwise, you'll just spend time doodling around in Blender and not really come up with anything that is a finished project. So I recommend to fix this. Go into a project with a clear goal in mind. Find reference draw your ideas and visualize them in your mind. Use your imagination. It's such a powerful tool. So hopefully these tips can help you accelerate your learning process inside Blender and get to making the stuff that you want to make quicker. Make sure to subscribe, like, check out some of my other videos, follow me on Instagram, and keep going with Blender. You got this.